Welcome back. Rank and dimension. Why is rank capitalized and dimension not? It's because it's arbitrary. It's not important. What's rank and dimension? What's that matrix A doing? Why are we here? What does this mean? Let's try and get a very, very visceral feeling about what these objects actually are doing and why. A, it is a two by three matrix. Uh, if you multiply a two by three matrix, you're going to have to multiply it by a three by something. We are using vectors, so it's going to be a three by one, and it's going to spit out a two by one. Here's what it means. These two row vectors in A are going to operate on three-dimensional column vectors from R3, and it's going to turn it into R2. It's going to bring it down to dimension. And I just wanted to let you see how this works and what's going to happen with this, and what does this have to do with rank and dimension? So first, A can be thought of in two ways, as usual. Uh, three column vectors or two row vectors. It's important to be able to go back and forth between the two. These, are going to, these row vectors are going to operate on three-dimensional column vectors. And remember unit vectors. Here's a lovely three-dimensional drawing on a two-dimensional uh, reverse whiteboard. Say that again. Uh, Incidentally, why am I representing these vectors as row vectors? As I said, it's just kind of typical. You, you write them how it's convenient to write. Once you start a process, though, uh, you have to be careful about making sure you stay consistent. And we'll show you a little more about that, but this is expository. I just want you to get a really good feeling for what's going on here. So I did a couple, but I wanna, I'll show you the computation. What is this matrix going to do to these unit vectors that, defined R, that define all of R3. Well, let's see. Uh, what happens if we multiply it by E1? 1, 0, 0. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. So this is the first one is 1. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. Minus 1 times 0 is 0. So this did absolutely nothing to this unit vector, which means that any vector along, oops, this is the uh, x-axis. Any vector along the x-axis is just any, all the elements of the vectors along the x-axis are going to be mapped back towards that. And I already wrote this down a little bit. So E1 in R3 gets mapped to E1 in R2. Just a happenstance. Let's see what happens with E2. Try and save a little time, get some erasing action happening in here. All right. So now we're going to multiply by E2, the, the unit vector along the y-axis. This is 0, 1, 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 1 is 0. This is, oh, uh, hang on a second. So uh, 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1, and 0 times 0 is 0, so this is 1. Uh, 0 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1, negative 1 times 0 is 0, so this is 1. So now this is different. The, anything along the y-axis is going to get mapped to the y equals x-axis, which codes up 1, 1. I'll take this off here, because you don't actually need it, not for the moment anyway. So this would be where that gets mapped to, one and one. So anything that's lying along the y-axis, the components that lie al along the y-axis are going to get mapped along this line somewhere. This is actually the y equal x line in the, uh, in the graph. Let's see what happens to the z. Okay, so zero, zero, one. Um, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times 0 is 0, uh, 0 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, minus 1 times 1 is negative 1. So the things that lie on the z-axis, in this case on the positive z-axis, are getting mapped to the negative y-axis. So and actually we didn't need this here, so I'll just take this out. And this would be like here. So. And this is 0 and negative 1. Let's make this a little more attractive. Oh. OK, so there you have it. This is what this matrix is doing. It is taking uh, 3 by 1 
column or column vectors from R3 and it's operating on them and it's moving it over into R2. So number one, what is the dimension and the rank of, of a matrix? And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. But specifically, the rank of a matrix are the number of columns that make the basis for the space that these elements get moved into. And as you can see, this is gonna be two. I'll show you how you can figure it out in a second. But uh, that is part one. See ya.